Greetings! In this video lesson, we're going to go into the six elements of book formatting and we're going to give you a preview of how to actually publish your book on Amazon through um, KDP Kindle Direct Publishing. So the, the six things that are most essential in formatting your book so it'll be, you know, readable is your title, subtitle, table of contents, headings, subheadings, and how to save the file. And we're going to do that in Google Docs. Google Docs is a free a free platform you can use similar to OpenOffice or other things, but it's all online and it's great. So I never thought about doing this until I was using um, Google Docs. I'm like, you can actually format a book from here. You don't necessarily need Microsoft Word or anything like that. So Google Docs is amazing for that reason. So in order to format your book in Google Docs, which anybody can get a free account to, you would just um, have your regular Gmail account and uh, go to Google Docs and it will take you right there. Just Google Google Docs and open up Google Docs and then um, you can just start typing your book and export and do everything right there. So all you need to publish a book these days is Google Docs and um, obviously a book idea in um, Amazon. So you're good to go. And let's get started. So first we're going to start with our title of your book. So you just highlight your title and the thing we're going to use to change the different things is right here. It's just really simple. So you just go to title and that'll be that. Um, you can change the font right here to whatever you like. And honestly, I think depending on what uh, platform you're putting your ebook on, it won't really matter because they sometimes change the font in order to make it easier for uh, the customers to read. So I wouldn't worry too much about that unless you're worried about a paperback book, then your your font will be whatever your font will be. But with ebooks, depending on the e-reader they're reading on, it really won't matter unless you're doing a PD PDF or something. Okay, and we have the subtitle right here. And then we would just choose subtitle and this is already was done beforehand so yeah subtitle I'm gonna go back because that was already the subtitle but I just want to show you how to do it and then like I said the title I actually want that back the way it was and you know the author you can um, italicize that or just make it center if you'd like the next thing we're going to do is the table of contents so I'm just going to put table of contents right here. And what I'm going to do is make that and we're getting into the headings now. This is the heading one. This is like the main heading. These, um, even though it's a heading one, which really it doesn't have to be, I could just really make it regular normal text because the table contents won't be in the table contents, but I'm going to actually put this as a heading. So whichever one is fine, because the table contents won't be in the table contents, which is funny. Um, and then we're going to go into the different, your different um, headings and highlight those first before we can even get started on that. So introduction. So you want to um, highlight all the uh, starts of your paragraphs, starts of your chapters, and change it to hitting one. And then what you want to do is go to insert, break, page break. And that will start you on to a different page completely. And that's how you want to start all your chapters. Okay, so let's do another one. Say if this was normal text. And then I'm like, okay, it started, say it started right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to insert, we're going to go to break, page break, and then we're going to make this a hitting one. Now, if you have hittings under a hitting, so say if you have a chapter one and then you have sub chapters, you would go here and mark that as hitting two. Now, the way you do your spacing, that's up to you. Amazon will get on you if you do too much spacing in between your uh, chapters. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we have the headings off the way. Now 
let's do a that's pretty much it as far as um it's pretty simple stuff now table of contents let's get into that i don't know why i'm so excited for it but i just want to so for example we have you can go copy and paste or you can just type the uh and then over here which is really cool because they don't have this on microsoft word you can like see your different hittings that is so cool to me you can see your different hittings over here so say let's say lesson one um, you can either type the whole thing. I wonder if you can copy this. Hold on. I'm about to do an experiment. Okay, that just takes me right to it. Let me go back. Okay, so I'm just going to put lesson one right here, not to complicate things. There might be some shortcuts here, but we'll see. And then what we're going to do after we select that, we're going to make it a clickable table of contents by putting a link to our hittings. And then all your hittings will be right under here. Boom. And there you go. You can um, make a two-tiered hitting, but I don't know why you want to. They just really want to know the main chapter. But if you have like a really nonfiction, in-depth book, I can see why you want to do that. But that's a little bit much. And I probably would put the whole thing out, type the whole thing out. Let me see. Add the link. I wish I could copy and paste this without going to the actual thing, but maybe I'll have to do that like this. There might be another shortcut, but I don't know it, so. Because I do want the whole thing typed out. There we go. All right, and then you would do the same thing for lesson number two. I, would, I suggest copy and pasting because it will still take you way less time. And as you get to, if you as you start editing more books and formatting your book, more books, you'll see how easy it can be. And hitting, and we're going to go to number two. And there we go. And then you push apply. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's just say we have this, and we're going to go straight into it and pretend like I'm going to actually release this book. So I already have it right here. Edit book details. We're going to just go in there and pretty much pretend like I'm uploading it for the first time so we can get straight to the content. Okay, so upload ebook manuscript. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> we got to remember to save it. Okay, so when I'm file. Save as, or do we do download? Okay, so you can you have all these options right here. That is so crazy. You can um, save it pretty much as anything you want. EPUB, plain text, PDF. Like Google Docs is the stuff. It has really, I, I never thought to do this. So I will save it as the Microsoft Word Docs because I want to see what it's like with that clickable table of contents. Um, okay. But then I will have to save it to my computer. So let's do that. Okay, so actually it already did save. So as soon as you push download, it saves down at the bottom. I just noticed that. So you don't have to do anything more, but just go to download and then it will save down here. And then you'll find it in your computer. So let's go back to KDP. Go to upload ebook manuscript. Documents. And you will find... I mean, natural documents, your downloads, and it should be good to go. So, okay, upload is successfully great. So we're just going to preview it here. That's the one thing I wanted to do so I can see if the clickable table of contents that we made is actually, you know, working and clickable using Google Docs. And it says it takes a lot of minutes, so waiting for it to prepare. Okay, we are back in action. Let's see if that clickable TOC is available. That's all I'm really worried about is seeing if it works. So that should take me straight to lesson one. Okay, it's working. So yes, and as you can see, we have everything starting on the correct pages and the hittings. Let's see, or sub hittings. We got the uh, main hittings good. And then you just go through, yep. You stop hitting is good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much how you upload your book to um, to um, Amazon KDP using Google Docs. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I, I'm still learning uh, 
everything, but definitely I can teach you how to get your book from off of your computer and on to the different retailers. I do know how to do that. So let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more book information. Thank you.